Hi everyone, it's Ava. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are brand new here. I am so incredibly excited for today's video. So for those of you who are new to my channel or this is your first time clicking on my videos, um, I am a huge sneakerhead. I collect sneakers and I have a passion for collecting sneakers. I collect all different types of sneakers, but recently I've really been focusing on Jordan 1s, um, specifically mids or highs or just like any Jordan 1s sneaker um i unbox every pair of sneaker that i have on my channel and i'm obsessed with unboxing sneakers for you guys they do fairly well on my channel so i love doing what you guys like and enjoy so yeah so in today's video i am going to be doing a little guide and giving you guys my tips and tricks that i use for collecting sneakers and buying sneakers just in general um, you don't have to be a sneakerhead to know all the tips and tricks to know about sneakers. So, yeah, so I put together a little guide and a little list to give you guys on all my trip tips and tricks. These are just personally my um, little things that I use when buying sneakers. Um, there's probably so many more out there, but I thought I would give you guys mine. So, I've made a little list for you guys. So, if you want to keep on, if you want to see all of my tips and tricks to collecting sneakers and just keep on watching okay so i have i made a list on my phone of some tips and tricks like i said that i use and that i think work when collecting sneakers because i've been collecting sneakers since i was probably like i've always liked sneakers even when i was younger but i'd say my collection has gotten started when i was about like 14 i actually started collecting like the steve madden sneakers and yeah so that kind of started my collection so the first tip that i have for you guys which is so important because it's about saving money so the first tip that i have for you guys is buying grade school sizing if you can so all my life i've always been a smaller size shoe so i'm a woman size six and Basically, being that I'm a woman size 6, I always try and get my sneakers cheaper than um, anyone else's sizing because I take advantage that I could fit into a kid sizing. So, if you buy grade school sizing, one, they're cheaper, which is always a plus, and two, they look exactly the same. So, I actually first, my first pair of Jordans was actually a grade school kids sizing because they were my brother's sneaker and... Um, he didn't wear them, so I took them. They were just the red Jordans, and they were grade school sizing. And then when I got my first pair of women's Jordans, they looked exactly the same. So I was like, well, if a pair comes in grade school sizing, I'm going to get the grade school sizing because why not? So that's my first tip that I have for you guys. And also this video is like a sit down video talking to you guys. I'm not really going to be showing you guys like anything, but as it go on to the video, you'll see like what I mean. So the next tip that I have and trick, which I think is a helpful trick to have, is changing the laces with different colors, especially for Jordan 1s. So, yes, you can change the color laces on your Air Force 1s. It will give them like a cooler look. But with Jordan 1s, I've learned to change your laces on your Jordan 1s and it will give the sneaker a brand new look and also a completely different look. For example... My favorite lace change of a sneaker that I did was my Jordan 1 mochas. Those are like the black with the brown suede like in the back. And I changed the laces out for pink. And I also bought a tan color to change as well when I get like tired of the pink or I want a newer look. And honestly, you guys, they look amazing. So I definitely recommend you guys changing laces if you can. And I get all my lace chain all my laces from Amazon and they are super cheap. I get like a pair of laces for like four dollars and i'm going to link down below the laces that i use because i only use i've only been using like one brand of laces on amazon and also just so you guys know if you do change up the laces you have to get laces that are 160 centimeters long those are the length of the jordan one laces that they come with so you need to make sure they match so they look the same as if they were a jordan lace so definitely check them out. Um, I highly recommend changing the laces on your Jordans or any sneaker. I have a pair of Air Force Ones and I put these like tie-dye laces on them and they look so cool in the summer. 
so I definitely recommend changing laces out if you can and also comment down below if you guys want to see like a separate video of me just like changing laces and how to lace up Jordan 1's um, because it is something to definitely learn it's not easy when you first do it and just like what sneakers I change the laces out for so my third trick is to store them properly so especially when you have a bigger collection um you spent a lot of money and you invested a lot of money in that collection you want to make sure you're storing them properly so personally my dream is to have a huge sneaker wall of all my sneakers that i own um but you can also store them in like clear bins i know the dollar store has like clear bins the container store and it just keeps them from the color fading. Um, they don't get dusty. Because sometimes when your sneakers get dusty, the color can fade and they get like weird. So you definitely don't want that to happen. Um, just make sure your sneakers never get dusty. Even if they're on a shelf occasionally, like weekly or whatever, just go over and like dust them quick. Because like I mentioned, you are spending a lot of money on these sneakers and you want to make sure they're being treated the right way and also stored the right way. I personally don't keep any of my sneakers in the boxes that they come in because I think that the boxes bring like bugs and I don't want to store them in the like cardboard boxes that they come in. But that's just like me personally. So, now the next trick that I have that I've learned within the past, like, one or two years I've been doing this. Save sneakers on your phone that you want eventually. And just, like, make a list of them somewhere where you can find them all the time. And just check the prices of them daily. So, personally, I am a huge fan of StockX. I use StockX following list and I will show you guys right now but what you do is you create an account and then you go on your following on StockX and then it will show you like your whole following list and then basically I love this because then I can check daily if prices um if the prices went down or if they went up and I just kind of track the prices and see like how the item is doing. And then I'm always adding new things to my list. So I definitely recommend using StockX for keeping track of all that. And you could also keep track, if you buy all your sneakers from StockX, which I mainly do, you can keep track of what you've bought and how much you spent and just kind of how that product or that item is doing. So my next tip that I have is don't just buy one style sneaker. Kind of open up you know and look at the trends and be trendy and just like try new styles you know don't be so closed-minded when it comes to only wearing one style sneaker um i definitely learned that i used to only wear like nike like um air maxes and now i've opened up so much and i've gotten you know so many more different style sneakers like so many so um i definitely recommend not just you know wearing of course it's your preference this is just my opinion but i definitely recommend trying all the trends and all the new styles that are out because you may find a pair that you really like and you know you may have been closed minded to it at first and now you're like obsessed with them so yeah so next my next trick that i use is to follow sneaker accounts on instagram so one of the main ones that i file is hype beast kicks on instagram and they kind of just post new and upcoming drops that um the apps may not have posted yet but you kind of get an earlier look on it and then you could you know keep track of it and you know follow it so you don't miss that drop um i definitely recommend um you know sneakers sell out super quickly so you want to make sure you know exactly when that sneaker is dropping and you just you're you're ready when it drops basically um and then next kind of goes along with this is staying on top of drops so you want to make sure that you stay on top of all the sneaker drops you don't want to lose track of them because then you won't get the sneaker or you'll get it but you'll pay a higher price for it than retail so you want to make sure you're following up on these drops so you may need to keep a calendar on your phone somewhere and that sounds crazy but if you're a true sneakerhead and you like you really have a passion for sneakers and this is like your life and your job basically then you're gonna want to keep a calendar of all the sneaker drops so you don't miss any because once that sneaker comes out and drops it will sell out instantly depending on the sneaker so i definitely recommend keeping up with the drops following all the sneaker instagrams so you don't miss any drops
Okay, so oh. here's my last tip and trick that I've learned because this is something that has always frustrated me and I never understood why. So, lastly, do not give up when you are frustrated and you wait in line for sneakers and don't get the sneaker. Like, although the process is extremely frustrating, it is so frustrating when a sneaker drops and you have to go through the process of waiting in line or waiting in a waiting room and then you wind up not getting the sneaker. It is extremely frustrating, but just remember that there will always be like another sneaker out there for you guys, another pair of sneakers for you. So don't get frustrated and give up. It's all part of like the game and like never give up because they're always dropping new sneakers and you'll always, there'll always be another pair of sneakers out there for you. So those are all my tips and tricks that I use when being a sneakerhead and collecting sneakers or even just buying any pair of sneakers. Um, I hope these helped you guys because I wish I would have watched a video like this when I first started collecting sneakers. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like this video and also subscribe down below. And come back for more. Peace.